Hello ladies and gents, Ro here, and it is a very beautiful day outside. It's sky is blue. Yes, it was actually pretty dark the other day. We had a fire, well I had, didn't have a fire, but a lot of my friends, like where my friends live, they had a fire like next to them and it was uh, pretty intense, like I don't know, 1200 anchors last time I heard, but I, I, I hope they, it's, I think it's done now. Yeah. No more fire. I even had some of my friends had to evacuate. It was like, it was getting intense. I believe everything is fine right now. They're, everybody's doing fine. Uh, yeah, the fire wise. But let's get on a different side of the story right now. Um, it is Wednesday. I know I'm like two day, three days late on um, making the update. So yeah, I got a few stories you guys for you guys um, from Big Five and Office Depot. Um, Big Five, of course. Uh, I'm working. I work at the shoe section and I'm sales, so I cover the floor and work at the shoe wall. And you know, by the end of the day, by the time we have to clean up and everything, I know I had to go look at the shoe wall. We have a shoe wall and there's shoes, shoes on it. Oh, they have to be faced the same the same way. Yes, it has to be the right shoe, and it, all the shoelaces, the tortoise is, uh, is annoying right now, um, but never mind that. <laughs> all the shoes have to be, shoelaces have to be in the shoes, and like tags on them, and they have to be marked, and all that. So, as I'm checking the shoe wall, all right, we have a men's section, huge men's section, and a little woman's section. So we go over to, as I work my way to the woman's section, I notice that every shoe, almost, I mean, not every shoe, I guess, I guess almost every shoe in the woman's section is turned the opposite way. Like, you see all the shoes facing this way, facing this way, and you go to the woman's section, there's some of them are facing this way. You're like, why? <laughs> and then you're just like thinking like, somebody did this on purpose. <laughs> They, they couldn't have just missed that. Like, how can you mess that up? Literally, you like, you see all the shoes are facing this way. You're like, no, I'm gonna put it this way. Literally, I think it's somebody just screwing with me. Honestly, that's like, that's 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 not cool. That's like extra work for me. <laughs> I thought it was funny because, uh, like, it was the woman's side, not the guy's side. Like, all the guy's side was like perfect, shiny, classic, and in the girl's side, you're like, what happened? Come no, no. Next time a woman goes over there, I'm gonna be like, I'll handle the shoe for you, don't touch it. <laughs> I'll take care of it. You want a shoe, let me know. <laughs> don't touch the shoe wall. It's the, yeah. Then another thing, <laughs> there was, I don't, this is not a bash on the girls video, not, nothing like that. It's just, I don't know. It's just two things, very similar and job related. So also, um, I'm cleaning the bathrooms, all right? clean the guy's side, clean the girl's side, everything's good except the girl's side is a lot worse than the guy's side. And honestly you'd think that a girl's side bathroom would be, it's a public bathroom so I guess I could I understand that but girl's side of the bathroom was worse than the guy's side. It's like as if the guy goes in there and does his thing leaves. Girl goes into her bathroom and she like flips it upside down a few times the whole bathroom and turns it up right side up and then just does a couple twists and turns in there rotates the bathroom and you're like how did that end up over there <laughs> unless the guys are using the girls bathroom which I doubt it because there's a sign right on the door that says women's and guys yeah the, but it's just like things like that it's I don't know it's like I went in the first time I went in to clean my the bathrooms at my job I don't know, I ha I ha yeah, I have to clean the bathrooms. Since I'm like a new hire, they have you clean the bathrooms. Honestly, it's not my favorite thing to do, not at all. Like, I don't know, whose favorite thing is that anyway? It's like, who who does that for fun? You're like, yeah, I'm having fun scrubbing the toilet, yeah. You, you can't have fun doing that unless you're like playing music and you're like thinking about butterflies. If you've never cleaned the bathroom, I suggest you do so. Like right now, go to your mother or find a mother and tell her, Mom, today I'm gonna clean the bathrooms for you. And just go do it, and trust me, you'll get some a good, maybe positive, good feedback for your, from your mother. Maybe you even get a treat from her. You never know. You never, they'll, they'll treat you to something. They'll, well, if they don't, they'll give you a hug. That's another thing, that's, that's a good thing. 
It, <laughs> trust me, it'll, it, will, it will, might get you something. But at the same time, don't clean the bathroom just because you want something in return. Just do it out of your kindness of your heart. And <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, out of the kindness of your heart. <laughs> so if you don't know how to clean the bathrooms, just, just YouTube it. Trust me, I'm sure there's like 20 million videos just on how to clean the bathroom. And honestly, it's not that hard. Just get a paper towel, spray some cleaner on it, and or maybe put water in it, whatever, and just give it a wipe down. Not that hard. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it, you guys. Uh, no more films. We're doing good. Um, we, just, we still need to get together and actually film something. But other than that, we're doing good. I hope you guys are having a great time enjoying these videos. And thank you for subscribing. And we will catch you guys later.